Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths with Himangi. Today we are going to conduct another activity for addition and subtraction of integers. For this we require here red and black color squares, sketch pens, scissor, cello tape. For this activity, we require here dice. So the first thing I am going to explain you how to make the dice. So take this net of a cube. So I have taken here 1.5 cm, 1.5 cm, 1.5, 1.5 because we know cube. The length of all the sides are equal. So this way you can make a net of a cube. Now after making the net, just make the crease so that easily we can stick the sides. Just make the crease. Okay. Now I have already kept this ready with this cube. You can write down the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can write the positive numbers. Another dice you can make with the negative numbers. And you can see one more thing already I have attached here cello tape. This way also and this way also. Now just fold it and stick the cello tape. Now this side also just cover it and stick with the cello tape so that you can see that your dice is ready all the numbers are written over here so you can make with the positive numbers and negative numbers I have already made this one is with the negative numbers, one with the positive number, one more with the negative number. So three, four dice you can keep ready. We can play game with this to make our integer chapter easy and interesting. So now let us start with the today's activity for addition and subtraction. So this red color squares will indicate the negative numbers and this black color will indicate the positive numbers. So let us start with the first one. First one it is written over here minus 2 plus 5. It means we require two squares with the red color and five squares with the black color. So arrange below that so that this one will be easier for us to calculate. Now start making pair. This is one pair. This is one pair. So how many are left? Three black color numbers are left and that is with positive sign. So your answer will be plus three. Your answer will be positive. So plus 3. Now take the another one. Minus 3 plus 2. What does it mean? We require 3 red color squares. You can cut circles also but cutting square is more easier. And then plus 2. So below that arrange plus 2. Now start pairing. So this will go with this, this will go with this. How much is left? 1 red square. It means your sign will be negative. So minus 1 is the answer. Let us take one more example. Minus 4 minus 2. It means you require here red color 4 squares. Again minus 2 is there. It means again you require 2 red squares. 
but now here we can't do pairing because always we do pairing with red and black color so here pairing is not possible so how many squares you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 six squares and all are red it means the answer will be minus 6 now every time this activity is not possible this activity we just do to introduce addition and subtraction of integers once you know that then we can use the rule to add and subtract so let me see what is the rule for addition and subtraction the easiest way is if signs are same add the number signs are different subtract the number greater number sign will come in the answer once again I am deciding for you if signs are same add the number signs are different subtract the number greater number sign will come in the answer let us see how can we use this rule to find addition and subtraction of integers so again let us take the same numbers minus 3 plus 2 Signs are different, subtract the number. So 3 minus 2 will be 1. And your greater number is 3. So the answer will be minus. So minus 1. Let us take another example. 7 minus 2. Signs are different. No sign is there. It means the positive sign. Signs are different. Subtract the number. 9 minus 7 will give you 2. Greater number sign will come in answer. So the answer will be minus 2. Take another example. Minus 2 plus 3. Signs are different. Subtract the number. 3 minus 2 will give you 1. Greater number sign will come in the answer. So the answer will be plus 1. Take one more example. Minus 3 minus 1. Signs are same. Add the numbers. 3 plus 1 will give you 4. Greater number sign will come in the answer it means the answer will be minus 4 one more minus 4 plus 6 signs are different subtract the number 6 minus 4 will give you 2 greater number sign will come in the answer it means the answer will be plus 2 so this way we use the rule if signs are same add the number signs are different subtract the number greater number sign will come in the answer. Now same activity we can do with the dice so you can take one positive one negative just throw this and find out which numbers are there plus 2 and minus 2 so signs are different subtract the number 2 minus 2 will give you 0 0 is neither negative nor positive so your answer is 0 once again you can throw the dice now this is minus 3 plus 1 signs are different subtract the number answer will be 2 greater number sign will come in the answer so answer will be minus 2 once you get practice, you can take two negative numbers also. So now I have changed the dice through it. Now your number is minus 2, minus 2. Signs are same. Add the numbers. So 2 plus 2 will give you 4. And greater number, the greater number is 2. So some minus sign will come. So answer will be minus 4. Once again, throw out the dice. Now this is minus 1 and minus 2. Signs are same. Add the numbers. So 2 plus 1 will give you 3. And greater number sign will come in the answer. So the answer will be minus 3. 
so this way with using dies you can find out the answers no need to write down the numbers again and again same thing we can play one game also suppose two students are there one will take with the black color one and one will go with the red color one so i'm just using this squares so we will we both will start from zero now use the dice one should be uh, initially you can start with dice okay so minus 5 plus 5 so answer will be 0 so red color will not move now second time again throw the dice so this is plus 5 minus 5 plus 1 answer is minus 4 so this is on minus 4 now red color 1 so minus 4 plus 6 will give you plus 2 so this will be on plus 2 now the chance for the negative black color one let me throw the dice so this is sorry it was 2 by mistake i have moved so minus plus 2 minus 6 will give you minus 4 minus means we will move towards left hand side 4 places 1 2 3 4 so it will come on minus 8 now again throw the dice this is minus 2 plus 2 0 so red one will not play now minus 4 plus 3 this is minus 1 minus means left hand side only one move now the chance for red color 1 so again plus 1 minus 1 0 so red color will not move so this way we can see the addition and subtraction of integers at the same time number line we need to move towards left hand side or towards right hand side you can decide that we will play for 10 chances and whomsoever will get the higher number that person will be the winner so with the help of this dash we can play activity also thank you for watching today's video